What is going on everybody? It's Dr. Professor Luigi and I just wanted to show you some stuff that I'm working on in MTS. So I've been working on updating my packs and I added uh, two vehicles so far. Now that might not be seem too great and I've added some other things like trailers and whatnot. But these two vehicles, I actually added new stuff. So I had to go right into the code of MTS itself and add in a couple new little sections so there's one of them and then the other one is right over here and so if, so yeah and then this is the other one and so with these two new additions to MTS code and a couple new additions to the JSON file uh, two boolean variables I added two new vehicle types and so the first one is treaded vehicles so if you're on the MTS server you may have noticed that uh, I made something that generates treads automatically and so that'll make it a lot easier for me to make treaded vehicles in the future unfortunately in MTS if you have a treaded vehicle that just has treads as opposed to a half track so uh, if I pull out this is I forgot I didn't think about this when I, I was setting everything up so hopefully I can do this quick enough and then we're gonna need the wheels this is an M this is in 1.10 so everything's like super broken uh, wheel there it is no that's the truck wheel all right perfect and so uh, if, mm, Oh, that's the bed. Okay. Well, this is super professional. There we go. All right. And so then, if I actually get the rear axle on there, it does have a really small hitbox right now. And then put the wheels on here. And so I'm sure a few of you are at least familiar with the half track treads. Uh, this is pretty popular. Um, but these treads basically act like wheels. Now, if you have treads like this, then MTS works fine because these back treads basically act like wheels, and it's really no big deal. However, this vehicle does not have wheels. It only has two treads, one on either oop, got all stuck in, one on either side. So this vehicle in normal MTS cannot steer, which is quite a shame because this thing looks pretty cool. Um, I still have to work on the rotations for the rams but essentially this is a really cool missile launcher so I added a basically something that allows the vehicle to turn so you can drive forward or back completely normally now of course this is a very heavy vehicle so it's kinda slow but you can drive forward and back totally normally and that is what you would normally be able to do in MTS uh, because when you turn the steering wheel the way MTS works is it turns the wheels and then uh, the front wheels so like if you know if you go over here those wheels will turn but in this one there are no wheels to turn and therefore it cannot turn back and forth but what I added is basically if you turn the wheel and then apply throttle the vehicle will turn on its axis like an actual uh, like an actual treaded vehicle and then when you go forward and turn it will also turn on axis and it the basically what happens is if you're if you turn the steering wheel to the maximum position which is 45 degrees and then you hit the throttle you will rotate on axis uh, however if you go forward and drive you'll drive forward and then there's there's some combination of the two so once you hit 45 degrees on the steering wheel full steering you no longer are experiencing any forward thrust uh, one quirk of this is if you go into reverse you know everything works fine in reverse but you actually turn backwards because the thrust is reversed uh, so that is one that's one that I just did today because I made this cool vehicle and I'm like oh I want people to actually drive it um, so it is kinda difficult to drive as you might expect a treaded vehicle to be if this actually gets into MTS it might get its own control type but we'll see what happens so that is the first vehicle So that's the first vehicle that I added. 
And then another one, is, the other one is this, the LZ131HTA. Now this one is very cool. So this is a gigantic airship. And you might be familiar with MTS does not have airships. So I'm going to go ahead and take a screenshot because that's a pretty good screenshot for the thumbnail. So MTS doesn't have airships, but I added them. And so as you can see right now, it is hovering off the ground. Not too shabby. So let's go ahead and pilot the airship. Of course, there are hitboxes on here so that uh, you can walk around the control car. And there will be hitboxes along the interior so that you can walk around on the inside. And then there are hitboxes on this front, uh, the front engine cars. The rear engine cars do not have hitboxes. Um, so the vehicle, the airship is technically the size of this white box because there are no hitboxes back there because MTS cannot handle vehicles this big. So I had to do some fuckery in order to get it to work right. And if you actually go all the way back to the rear engine cars, which of course, you know, these are, it does take an engine and a propeller just like a normal airplane, but once you get sort of there, it disappears. So putting this propeller on is definitely a balancing act. You kind of have to be, you know, put it on without getting all the way to the box or else the airship disappears. So I kind of hope that one day MTS can make its rendering system render a little bit further, like IR, immersive railroading uh, trains can render pretty far away. But aside from that little thing, uh, the airship actually works extremely well. So if you zoom, and I also increased the zoom out so that you can zoom out to enough to fly uh, airliners, not enough to for the airship. So this is the maximum zoom out. Um, as you can see, you can see the back propeller, and that is sort of the distance you can go before the vehicle disappears. So this is a good zoom out distance that I added. So if we open up, so if I go into first person, you see that the parking brake is on, and the parking brake prevents the airship from moving, kind of like you would expect a vehicle on the ground. However, with normal aer airplanes, the parking brake doesn't do anything when you're in the air because it affects the wheel forces. And so what I did is when the uh, airship is moving slowly and the parking brake or brake are applied, the engines don't apply any force. And also, when the parking brake is applied, the airship cannot move up or down. This allows you to start up multiple engined airships, like this one, without spinning around. For example, if you start uh, this this uh, air this engine, which I believe is number two. So if you start this up and it were to actually run, and you didn't have the parking brake on, then the airship would rotate. So this just allows you to be able to start up all the engines and idle all the engines without having to worry about twisting. So here we have all of the engines running, which I think looks really neat. I just think it's cool seeing all the moving parts on this thing. All right, so that is the engines. You know, nothing too groundbreaking there, but on the bright side, you don't have to worry about your airship moving when you have the brake on. So if I remove, if I remove the brake, you can see we're still not moving because the airship is very heavy. So uh, rotations, I mean, for uh, throttle, you know, there's the rotations on there. This is all just normal MTS stuff. But I also added the rotations of the, on the engine cars. Might be a little hard to see, but if you look focus right there, uh, they actually open up as you give them more throttle. So if you let off the brake, you can see we are starting to slightly move. And one neat thing is if you give it reverse thrust, it will actually have, the engines will spin backwards and you'll actually have full reverse thrust rather than the dynamic pitch reverse thrust that MTS normally has. So this is a good way to get the ship to slow down and then you can hold the brake and then apply the e-brake and the ship will no longer move. So we'll go ahead and back off the throttle a little bit. And if we remove the brake, which you can't see me doing because it's on the it's only in first person view, but we have the brake off. And now if I press W or D rather, you see that we are moving down. And then we can also move up. And so this is basically allowing the airship to move up and down. And so that is and then of course if you press B, it will prevent the airship from moving at all once you get below a certain speed. So B basically, you know, bread the brake stops the airship if you're moving very slowly. That way you don't 
and you, what's nice is once you actually start flying, so we'll go ahead and remove the brake, give us some throttle, and once you start flying and you hit the e-brake, so now we have the e-brake on, but uh, we are still moving because what this does is it only works when you move slowly. So if I hit reverse thrust and we slow down, you can see we eventually come to a stop. And then if I tap the brake, we'll start moving backwards. Then I hit the parking brake again. You can see the parking brake is on. And now we're moving backwards. And so this basically stops us only when we're moving slowly. So it's a great way to stop the airship and prevent you from going up or down while you're in flight. So we're stopped again. So we'll go ahead and lower the throttle. And that is airship in MTS that hopefully gets added. Um, so just to recap on the control differences between uh, the normal vehicles and the vehicles that I added. So this is a treaded vehicle. It is activated by having uh, tread drive true. So that's a boolean that I added. And when that is added, you will move forward. And of course, you know sometimes these like to stick in the air a little bit. So when you move forward and backwards, it's totally fine. But when you turn the steering wheel, the more the steering wheel is turned, the more your forward thrust on the wheels is diverted into steering. And so once you have your steering wheel turned all the way, all of your engine energy is going into turning the vehicle. And so that will actually turn it on its axis like this. And then if you're, for example, if you're halfway, if you, the steering wheel is halfway and you go, uh, some of the force is going to be going forward, some of it's going to be going to turning, very similar to an actual tank tr uh, treaded vehicle. Of course, actual tank treads, you control each tread individually, and that might be added in the future if Don Bruce adds it himself, or I can figure out how to c change the control scheme. But for now, I think this is a good compromise for treaded vehicles being basically uh, a fancy normal vehicle. And airships, uh, they basically are not affected by gravity, so there is no gravitational force on them. I removed that, and instead the gravitational force is determined by the elevator. So when you control the elevator, uh, that basically controls the airship going up and down. Airships can also not pitch or roll. Uh, they're constantly locked being flat, because unless you're doing very, unless something is going very wrong, airships pretty much always remain flat. Um, and then, of course, the yaw running the rudders is identical. And all the engines are identical. And then the brake changes rather than affecting the wheels, which it still does. The brake still affects wheels normally if you had an airship with wheels. Um, but the brake instead will stop the airship from moving in any direction if it is moving slowly. And so that it's forward and back or up and down. And those are actually handled separately so that if you are going full speed forward and you hit the parking brake, that will actually prevent you from going up or down. And that's very useful uh, so you don't worry about like you know drifting up or down over time. And then of course airships are very big, so I increased the zoom length. And then a few other small tweaks, for example, these uh, propellers are geared down 2 to 1. MTS had it backwards, which apparently is supposed to be right but it does it's not very consistent with vehicles so I changed that as well so I figured you guys would probably like to see you know this stuff actually in action before it's released um, these vehicle types I will try to release in my own MTS add-on rather than putting them in part of the official MTS pack because uh, they are kind of hacky but with that being said I hope you enjoyed this video I hope you got enjoyed getting an early look at some of the new content I'm adding. If you are supporting me on Patreon, you actually have access to all of this. So if you support me on Patreon, then you get access to my dev link and you will get access to my custom MTS version that I'm working with. And basically everything that is needed to fly an airship and drive tank vehicles right now. So make sure to go and support me on Patreon if you want access to my to early releases of my content as I'm developing it. Thanks for watching and I hope to see you next time.